Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. I am wearing the only green thing that I own. I think I do have a dark, like a like an evening dress in green. I don't even know if it fits anymore. But anyways, the reason why I'm wearing green is because I'm taping this on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday afternoon, before I go to my see my family for a watching of the first part of the game. Then we go home after the halftime. <laughs> So after the halftime, we, we go home. <laughs> but I have to wear a little something in the color of the team I'm going to support. And as of I'm taping this, I don't know how the game went, but I've got green on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're doing childhood memories today, Stronger Together, uh, Quilt Along, and also the um, Make-A-Wish, the Make-A-Wish project. We, the supply list is now out for that. So those are the three things, but let's first talk about the block. So uh, Sweet Childhood Memories, the memory is movie time, which I hope is more... Um, uh, uplifting than your stories about your bikes. Oh my goodness. Everybody had like drama or traumatized bike stories. I didn't see too many nice fun bike stories <laughs> like uh, you were so excited to get your bike or anything. No, no, you were, it was stolen or it got broken or whatever. You hurt yourself on it like I did, but you know, <laughs> that isn't what I was expecting. But that's what I got. So this is the movies. I think a lot of us have that special childhood memory of a movie, maybe one particular movie, or maybe just the concept of going to movies. However, there is something out there that's, let's, hopefully it's positive. Let's find the positive movie things, not the ones that scared you half to death, but the fun, positive ones. Uh, we would go to a local theater when I was fairly young and living in the United States before we went to Europe. We did this in Europe too, but my memory really is before we went. I have two younger brothers, so I went with the, took the older of the two because the other wasn't born yet. And we went to the, my mom took us to the local theater and dropped us off. And it was always exciting because there were so many people. It was fun. You would see friends and, and then you go, go into the dark theater on a hot, hot New Jersey summer afternoon where it was cool and then watch this wonderful experience unfold, you know, the movie unfold. And my favorite one that I remember is Jungle Book. Just going and seeing the, the animation and the songs, and I saw that one several times. Um, I don't know if my brother was as excited about it as I was, but uh, we saw it several times, and I really loved that movie. Um, Greg has a favorite one of when he was probably a little bit old, like maybe 10 or so with a group of boys and they were out at a campground with adults and the adults were like, yeah, walk into town to the movie. Well, into town was a couple of miles and it was dark at night. And, you know, so he has this long story and funny story about what these you know, 10 year old boys did on the way there and then the way back afterwards and they all made it fine. But, you know, you know, mooing at the cows and, you know, different silly things like that. But that's his really big, strong memory. OK, the block, the block has uh, just two fabrics. That's what I'm going to do it in. You could do it in three. You could make this center sort of another fabric or you could make the corners another fabric, you know, something like that. But I'm just going to do two. And when I do just two fabrics, that means the density of color for this is going to be quite strong. So I want to see kind of up on the wall and a little bit from a distance what different colors look like to see which sort of blends in and doesn't just sort of stick out like a sore thumb. So let's go over to the wall with the other camera. Here are the blocks together and because that corner it's going to go right there it's not big but it is dense in color because most of that block is going to be the dash color so I have some options here and I thought I would put them up so we could look at them at a distance because even just putting like a big clump up there like that I mean that's really the density of color you're going to have since that churn dash has that inner part. If I keep, I'm not going to keep it all the same. I want to have the look of that block. So there's yellow. This is adding a color that I haven't used yet that I talked about just keeping for sashing. But because it's a smaller block, I'm thinking, and because that one has some red in it, that yellow. So I'm, I'm thinking that might be kind of cool. It's so let's look at the green. That's the other color that we don't have up there. There's two shades of green. One is light and it's going to 
feel lighter from a distance. I don't know how much lighter than the than the darker one. So there's the green. Same with the green and yellow and the lights were light fabrics for this were the ones I'm sort of saving off for sashing. But I was thinking I could use them a little bit. Now here's the darker green. See that's that's quite dark. Yeah, definitely not that. Definitely if any if I did either of the yellow or the green, I would of course, the block fell down. I would go, lean towards the yellow. So blue and red. These are the two that are blue, reds, and grays, but I don't want gray for the same reason that it is dark. You know, there is a light gray, but I wasn't feeling the light gray to even try it. So there's the blue, which I'm loving. I'm loving the blue, but let's see what the red looks like. Okay, I have to pin the red. All right. There's also peach, which is like over here um, and down here, this peach, but there's not a lot of peach in the line. So I'm sort of saving it off in case I want it for another block. Okay, that's also pretty heavy. The red reads heavy. So I'm leaning towards the blue or the yellow. I'm thinking blue. So I don't know if that did it for you, but for me, it really helped me see that adding in like one, if I add in like a green or a yellow block, then I almost, I, I must, I must probably add in pretty heavy green or yellow in two other places because our eye likes things in odd numbers, three, five, seven. So working with this quilt, you know, maybe three, but I think I'm still gonna save them off for the sashing and I will work with the blue. So I'm gonna go with this blue. Now I did have, some choices for background. Originally, I kind of pulled this one, uh, but I think it just dulls down the blue. I think this is a heavier density dot, and I think it just dulls that down. It doesn't look as crisp and fresh, and so I think I'm going to go with this. Uh, and that fabric is used in the previous block right below it, but not very much and it doesn't really stick out in that one So I'm okay with that. I'm going to use those two Also want to remind you that I always give you a bonus project to use the block in repeat So if you l want to do a table runner a quick little table runner, this would be super cute uh, Maybe you want to do um, one for March do like uh, in greens, all different greens for, for March decorating or something, maybe pastels or pinks and yellows and greens for spring, you could work one up. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two, make the block and we'll see how it really looks on the wall. So let's put this little baby up there. It does look really darling in all blue. I could see that table runner being a spring one with like light blue, light yellow, or blue or yellow and green, these soft sort of pastel colors. Can you tell I'm looking for spring? It is dreary gray outside today. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I digress. I digress. It's not unusual. There we go. These have little sashings between them. And this guy's actually there. So voila. Yeah. That looks good. Now I will have a straight on picture over at my website today so that you can see them. So cute, so cute. I'm not quite ready to think about the sashing on this one. Uh, here it is, but I should, I, the, the royal, the royal we, should, we should all start thinking about, if you know what your border triangles are, it would be good to start working on them. So I'm thinking that next week that's the plan for me anyways, because I know that it's going to be different blue fabrics. I already bought that because I really just want that blue to be the emphasis of this quilt. And so there's a lot of blue on the inside and there will be that blue on the outside, which will really make your eyes see a large amount of blue. And uh, so, but I could start working on those. And I might, I bought extra fabric to, you know, like to do, you know, there's ex extra of the, the fat quarter bundle that has to be done for the border. I'm not using the fat quarter bundle for that. Uh, and I might use the AccuQuilt to cut these and that would be faster. Then I don't have to do any trimming or anything. They're exact size. The little dog ears are already trimmed off. So I'll think about that for next week. All right, we are now going to do, before we do Stronger Together, 
let's uh, look at the Bountiful for the Make-A-Wish. So Make-A-Wish is another charity that I work with, uh, the Fat Quarter Shop. They host a sew along every year for quite a few years now. And I have been making a version and uh, mine will go up for auction at the end, which will raise additional money for Make-A-Wish. And Make-A-Wish is to grant wishes to children with uh, really who are very ill. They have a big wish and then these are granted and they get to do that. And it's a very local thing. So the Make-A-Wish works with a local group and it, this is uh, run by the Fat Quarter Shop. So it is done by them in Texas. It is that branch or that local area that it's done in so that Kimberly and her husband Kevin and some of their staff can sometimes go to the presentation and meet the child and their family not always I think that varies but they can now I will be using for mine I'm going to put a picture up of the bountiful quilt and I will be using this French general fabric line called Le Bleu a blue de France, a blue de France. And I might put a little bit of charcoal gray in with this and maybe even a tiny bit of yellow in those blocks, maybe even a tiny bit of green, just adding a little tiny bit to it. Uh, the, the kits, if you want to do it just like the Fat Quarter Shops, there are kits that you can order. Um, I don't know if they're still on pre-order. I don't remember the status as I'm filming this, but I'll put that up. But the uh, first milestone was hit for the um, charity, and so that means the supply list is now available. And if you are going to sew along, then you can go look and see in your own stash. Maybe you have a beautiful Fat Quarter bundle you want to use as well. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. And also before, before we go, I just had to get these things in. <laughs> this is the last day for the $30 off the yellow Aliso iron. So it's the last day, end of the day, Eastern Standard Time, my time zone, <laughs> East Coast time zone. <laughs> so if you want one, be sure you get it. We're going to do Stronger Together and uh, I'm doing the slow version of this because, uh, well, I'll tell you, let's go back to the other side. Stronger Together is a fundraising quilt along for the United Negro College Fund for, for Black History Month. And the Fat Quarter Shop is running this. Michelle Ramsey designed this awesome quilt. I'll put a picture up. So she designed this amazing quilt and I just love it. It is so clever. It is like a puzzle, but it's really simple shapes. You're dealing with basically almost all rectangles. After you've done the stars, which are just a few half square triangles. So it is super clever. For the first three months, for the first three weeks of the month, she celebrates a person in history. And so this week, this is the third week, it is a Charles Young. And uh, he is somebody whose family was born as into slavery here in the U.S. And then uh, his father worked was in the Civil War, which then gained him his freedom and so Charles went on to do a lot of things he worked, was in the military and then he went on to be in the National Park Service out in the out in the sequoias and so she gives you a little bit of history about him and I'd love to go read more about him he sounds like a mover and a shaker of a person <laughs> he did a lot so this project is done basically in in rows which is really cool I did the first two rows let me show you again uh, and I am going to do this a uh, little bit slower version of this because I just can't, I'm just not being able to fit in uh, as much to get it all done in one month. So here are, here are my rows for the top, yeah, top two. So now I will be cutting this week for the third row. And let me just show you down here. For the fabrics, for the third row, there is a peach which goes out here and then I already have the bottom half of this unit because it is this great diamond or yeah so it's like a diamond and I already have the bottom half of the pink cut because of this row I just did them at the same time and so what I will do is for the peach and then the lighter pink because the peach is here and the lighter pink is there I will cut all of it you know for both halves and then there is the chain part which is this fabric here when you cut it up it's hard to tell what it looks like originally but that's it and then there's the navy of course because we still have navy and I already have that star unit done from week one so this is week three 
And then week four, I will do, so the next row, cut and sew, you know, what I haven't cut already, I have to cut extra, and then the following two. So I will be doing a row a week. Okay, so I have that, but I want to also show you some goodies that I didn't, that I'd li you know, like, to, like to show you, and I need to talk about my cross stitch um, just a second as well. So let me, <laughs> because I am, I am like on the slow boat, the cross stitch slow boat, and I'm okay with that. I just realized the other day, I thought, you know, I need to approach it a little bit differently. So I am going to take the flea market one and finish this whole um, column. Then there's a third column and then this is done. But I'm gonna finish this whole column before I move on to a new project. Uh, that hasn't stopped me from buying new projects. <laughs> so, so yeah, let me, let me show you that by the way. <laughs> Would you like to see this, the new project that I got that I don't, I'm not sewing it, cross stitching it. So I, okay, so here it is. These are the Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery Christmas Houses. And okay, are they all called Christmas House? No, though they have different names. Christmas House, Needlework House, Pomegranate House. So these are these super cute, super cute little houses and i love the colors i love the folk art of them i'm just gonna flip through them and they just spoke to me i was like oh i want to do those i don't think i will do them on as dark a tea stained kind of uh, base cloth as these are i am going to go for something lighter maybe even like a light gray or a light blue. I'm thinking like a light blue, like basically the same thing that I'm doing that a flea market fancy on. Uh, yeah, so they are, they are just so darn cute. The gingerbread house, look, look, look how cute that is. Okay, uh, I also bought the threads because, you know, it's like, a, this. that's just works for me to have all the threads. So I got those. And then there were some other things that came in the Fat Quarter Shop sent me to show uh, and use. They have a new, uh, a new zipper pull with the little house and then a pink version of the yellow bee. So there's a yellow needle minder that's, uh, and this one's pink. I love the pink. And then this is so cool. So it is a jump ring with a great big darling heart charm on it. And so there you can see how you can put your floss bitty things on the back and I am excited about that because I kind of like that whole concept and this is super cute. Now I want to show you, um, last thing is a little collection. This is uh, the January Ruby Society. They send you the uh, collection with a pattern. So I love the pattern and it is one where you do one fabric and a background, one of the pieces of fabric in the background for the block. I think that's a, that's a great concept. Let me show you the fabrics because they are really, I would love to just sew them up. They feel, they feel like they would have been perfect in my January decorating. So, you know, this, these blues. Okay. Let me go through here. Look at that. Look at these cut. Look at, oh, the radishes, you know, we talked about radishes, purple radishes, uh, more big flowers. The scale is always great. So you've got large, medium and small scale. This has got like a little bit of gold glitter on it. Not glitter, um, you know, it's like pearled, but in kind of gold. There's a scattered flowers, a dot that's not a structured dot. So I really love that. These pretty flowers, I guess you could see them right side up. There we go. Maybe that would be good. Sorry about that. And tulips and this sort of wave. And, and a mountain, so kind of like a mountain across, very structured. So this is the pattern and they send you a spool of thread in the club. And I believe this is a quarterly club. Yeah, it's a quarterly club. So super cool. All right, my friend. <laughs> everything, all the things, all the things here on Wednesday. You have your uh, sweet childhood memories and hoping to hear some really nice, fun ones for the movie theater, seeing movies, maybe not even, it doesn't even have to be in the movie theater, but your movie memories. And then if you're doing Stronger Together, I would love to hear if you are doing like me, just doing one row a week, or if you have gone and you're really like really working it for, uh, <laughs> for the month of February. So I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.